Today we're going to explore a, another type of a function, one that helps us understand rapid growth. And we call those types of graphs, to follow certain characteristics, we call them exponential functions. For example, the early onset of a spread of a disease or a flu typically models a rate of expansion that's an exponential type of a growth. We also see exponential growth in other fields as well, uh, from interest rates and so forth. So what is an exponential function? Well, basically an exp exponential function is where you have some base and the variable is in the subscript. The variable is in the exponent. That makes it an exponential function. So you can either have it in function form or equation form. And the characteristics you need to make sure is that B, the base has to be positive, greater than zero, but it also cannot equal one. So some examples of a function that you might see, um, let's say that uh, f of x uh, equals two to the x. That's an exponential function with base two. Maybe another function, g of x, uh, equals 10 to the x. Again, exponential function, this one has a base 10. Let's look at three to the x plus one. The variable is in the exponent. The base is greater than zero, but not one. And it's all right if, if the exponent has some extra work that we need to deal with or work around. And fgh, and let's have j of x then. You can also have a fractional base to some exponent as well. That also represents what we call an exponential function. To contrast that, f of x equals x squared, that is not an exponential function. Although we have an exponent, notice the variable, the variable is in the base. One to the x is not an exponential function. One of the characteristics, the base needs not be one. Likewise, if I have some h of x equals negative one to the x. Notice the base in this particular case is negative. And the one that's really fascinating that we'll explore much later down the road is an x to an x. We can't have variables in both positions in order to be an exponential function. So anyway, Grab your mask, grab whatever you need, as we're going to kind of explore some exponential functions.